Alright guys, what is up? Game number two here between Oxkill and Badrail. They're not actually doing any type of tournament or anything. Um, it's just that because both of them are kind of close in level, that when they get out of queue and they requeue right away, and there's not enough players that, you know, you accidentally get someone else. So that, um, yeah, you actually, they just get tied again, or they get matched again, I mean. So they're not doing any kind of, kind of like, actual tournament or anything. It's just, you know, that's how it happened. Um, anyway, so let's see what we have here, what do we have here. So yeah, I wasn't actually talking about the battle groups last game, but it does look like Badrail is playing his own battle group. It is a bit special because I haven't seen this from anybody else that I can think of in my time watching Poxmore games, at least not in the last three or four years, where it's a meta battle group in a way, but um, a bit off meta in like the champions. Um, like it's a meta battle group as in it's just ran there's no theme behind it usually when you see UD there's often a theme um, like spiders minotaurs fire uh, goblins but or deep elves right um, but this UD battle group doesn't really seem to have a, um, a a underlying theme the only thing that I can really see connect is is the Goblin King. I think he plays the Goblin King in this battle group, and what he does is you play the Goblin King, and because the Goblin King gets upgraded abilities from the next three champions, so um, if you then afterwards play, for example, the Void Raker, and then you get Unstoppable, like, these are all very good upgrades. Um, you can get Flying, you can get Void Shield, which just makes you tanky, you get uh, the Void Touch, Unstoppable, Punish, and all of these are just very strong upgrades. They're all within the 5 to 6 Nora range of how much they cost, right? For example, what you could also get... Well, this, I wonder if you could get uh, the Mark of Osarius. That would be interesting. But you could get lesser upgrades, right? Um, upgrades that maybe don't cost that much or just aren't that good for UD champions. But I'm pretty sure all of these I would enjoy. I think the worst one might be even the Void Touch. Even though two champions with Void Touch could be insane. But like Void Shield is really good. Flying on so many maps is really good. Um, Void Shield, obviously. Uh, let's see, let's see. Well, Void Touch. When the champion successfully hits a champion with basic attack, that attacking champion loses an ability at random. And that's this is just a strong ability. Think about this. Think about every time he attacks something, he's doing. Let's say if you get a good upgrade, minus five to six Nora. Right? You're you're causing minus six Nora in an upgrade of the enemy. Also, them just not being able to use that OP ability. Like, imagine, for example, Split goes away. This champion becomes something not nearly as good, right? It doesn't... Like, Split with Regen is pretty good, usually. Or Split with Healing, like with IS. Usually very insane. Also, 55 Nora. Wow, I did not know that. Um, and a lot of different things, right, in general, where... Just upgrades. Just taking away upgrades is very good, I think. You don't see it too often, though. Like, you can sometimes get bad ones. Like, imagine you just get rid of... Invigorate. And Invigorate is such an insane ability. It's so good, and it doesn't cost very much, but just getting rid of that, so now this champion can just shatter and do nothing else. It'd be really strong. Anyway, um, again, yeah, like I was saying, so I think this battle group does have to do with, like, um, getting rid of, uh, or sorry, what was I saying? Uh, the, the Goblin King, and then uh, just having a very strong Goblin King. What, uh, what he also just said, what Badrillo just said, is the Unstoppable actually works really well with Secret Meeting. I completely forgot about that. Yeah, I was playing the Minotaurs, and that was a video I uploaded, like, I don't know, a few few weeks ago, like three weeks ago or so. And there, I used the Secret Meetings at least once very effectively. Like, Secret Meeting is such an insane ability, because you can move effectively 10 spaces. What is that? 10 spaces. Oh, he equipped it? Oh, it's Ox Kill's turn. Yeah, um, you can move effectively, like, 10 spaces without using any AP. Protector. Getting the one speed is not bad, though, from the Tinker. Uh, does he just... Not yet. Now I did, though. Huh. Alright, so invigorates the Protector, because he needs the, the damage. Alright, so we do have Void Shield, so now he has physical damage, magic damage, and he has electric right here. Oh, no, it's a Grand Evasive, never mind. So yeah, we have physical damage, magic damage, that's what we have so far. Usually, usually, uh, Void Shield is insane in, like, healing, healing factions. Um, just because, look, now it's at already physical 3, right? Yeah, there you go. Um, because in healing factions, once you have the resistance, you can kind of get it back. What did he just lose? He lost split. So this one still is split, which is kind of funny, but this one doesn't. Um, 
You can double tap here, 15 damage. You can't kill it though. If he has a spell, remember this is IS. Oh, he doesn't have split anyway, so yeah, he goes to 12. He can move up and use bodyguard though. If he wants. This thing has 15 damage. Why is this thing at 15 damage? Protective, ah, okay. Does he have, no. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, usually uh, Void Shield is even better in healing. Like, for example, the FS tank, what is it called? The the guy with Psychic Attack type and, and the Soul Tap thing, the, the really strong ability. The Stillwater Mutant, that one. That is insane because you have that champion and then you just play the Font of Restoration and you just heal back to full and has now all of a sudden every resistance to all of what your enemy has. The only thing that can counter that is Dispel. Right? If they don't have Dispel, they have to send so much Nora into that champion. It is insane. Like, that thing scares the heck out of me. The Stillwater Mutant. It is just so strong, and it's so hard to deal with. Because not... I mean, at least you don't... What, the biggest thing I can tell you what to do is with that champion, ignore it. Do not ever, ever, ever attack that champion. There's no point to it. It does very little damage. And you take damage when you attack it because of the uh, Catalyst. It When it gets to half health... All of your champions become ensnared and, and soul tapped, so they're getting loads of Nora. And it just is super tanky. There's just you know if you can, just leave it and maybe hopefully it won't go for your other fonts and it'll just keep, you know, dealing damage and just keep disengaging and attacking something else. Literally, I hate that champion. My god. Like the amount of chant times like FS is not supposed to be tanky, right? FS is supposed to be healing. Okay, this is good for Badriel up here. Uh okay, what is this? That's kind of interesting. Another Void Shield champion, actually. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, no, Silver or Mutant, that thing is insane. Especially in FS, because they have so much healing, you know? At least. What do we have here? What's happening, actually? So we have this Void Raker that is kind of tanking pretty well, at least the uh, Guardian. This is not amazing here. They're both at half health. Is this thing dead, maybe? We have the... He just healed. So this thing should be dead. Because it is a split, actually, they can both contest the font. I mean, we have this here anyway, but... So Kilzik is over here. Again, he, he she she is very scary. Ooh. That was not bad. For whatever reason. Oh yeah, he's flying. That actually doesn't affect him, does it? Yeah, without flying. So yeah, the uh the tremor did not affect the clockwork swarm because he is flying. And the reason he is flying, or it, sorry, is because of the this thing, because of the spinal hawk, the uh, gift spare wings. All right, so he kills the relic with the siege monger. Actually, he can't put a relic down because oh yes, yeah, thing you know. All right, so he kills one of them. There's one more clockwork swarm alive. This thing's at rank resistance, a three ranks resistance. It would be nice if we could attack this, just because it would lose the AP. It would lose four AP because of the punish. So I think that's worth it, just to attack this maybe. Yeah, there he goes. So yeah, that almost kills him. It actually doesn't though. He's at two health. Does he have any way of dealing two damage? Like efficient? Oh, there you go. Heart hatred, hatred. Yeah, it's a funny spell. Actually, hatred is a very funny spell. It does like seven, seven, seven damage. So it does like seven loss of life. It kills a relic for seven, and it does something else for seven. I don't remember what. I actually don't. Let me go look it up. Actually, like I said, I have this other font thing I can put up. Um, let me go check what hatred does. But the thing what's hatred, cool about hatred is it's really cheap. It's like 20 Nora. So when you need a kill like that, then you just use it. Also, because it's loss of life damage, um, you can go through like impervious and that kind of stuff. All right, so let me see. Hatred. I have hatching season. That's not it. Oh, I wrote hatred. That's why. Uh, let me check. Uh, Huh. I don't see it. Never mind. This might take a while then, guys. Just keep watching the game. What happened? Void Raker took 11 damage. How did that happen? I thought he was bodyguarding him. Hmm. Okay. Mm He's up here. He took 10. Wow. 10 damage from instead of 12. Nice. And he's going to be taking a lot of... I mean, he has... Yeah, exactly. He's going to get a lot of resistance here. And this is all magic damage. So at one point... I mean, he's still doing a, a good amount here. Sentinel, actually. Interesting. 
Yeah, this is physical now. Or fire, even. Fire, not physical. Thing is, he's at zero defense because of magic beam. Uh, let me go back to... Is it a common spell? I think it's a com Animosity, is that what it is? Yeah, exactly. So the spell is actually called Animosity, not Hatred. So here it says, Target Champion loses 7 health. The nearest enemy, Relic, uh, loses 7 health. And each of your opponents loses 7 Nora, right? So it's a 25 Nora spell, but because your enemy loses 7 Nora, and let's just assume that they're always going to have 7 Nora to lose, then if you subtract that from the spell cost, it's actually much less, right? Now this is an 18 Nora spell that does 7 loss of life and 7 damage to a relic, which is just perfect for this kind of thing, right? This is, uh, you get both normal clubs here, right? Yeah, he does. So this is kind of exactly what UD wants to do. Like, a 7 a seven HP damage thing to kill either a relic, like, oh, you have an annoying relic that has to be done dealt with, or an, a champion, especially because it's loss of life. Anyway, there's GG. I wasn't watching. I'm sorry. I was uh, looking about animosity, but... Um, what I can tell you is he was doing fine. He killed middle font. There was nothing to help him mid font, uh, to help ox kill. And even top, he was doing fine. He got both those Norglobes too down there, so GG.